Life doesn't stop, even when you don't have a place to live it. And they said, good luck, have fun. Um, Ash Fox. Have fun, we did. Used to live here at Parkside Collective in Aurora. The whole process of watching my home explode, um, getting robbed right after, um, struggling to find a place while living in a hotel, it just wasn't fun. A fire and explosion last September punched a hole in the building. Robbers broke in days later as she and hundreds of others looked for somewhere else to live their lives. I'm incredibly bitter about it. She says the building prorated her rent, gave her $1,000 and sent her on her way. I am upset that they couldn't do more for us, but they could rebuild the building within seven months. And now they're reopening it but they couldn't do anything more for us. Parkside Collective has patched the gash in the wall and it's advertising new leases under a new name. Stella on the Park is open for tenants starting June 2nd. The city of Aurora says final inspections on the completed repair were scheduled for this week. I knew it was inevitable because otherwise it would just be a building just sitting here. Fox says she still occasionally runs into a handful of old neighbors but she wonders what happened to the hundreds of other displaced people she doesn't see because life hasn't stopped, even without a place to live. I hope that everyone is good and okay now and is in a stable place um, versus here. Fox says she has found a new place to live and now she's part of a class action lawsuit against the property management company. We reached out to that company over the phone and over email today, but we did not hear back. Uh, from their perspective, it seems too soon and not enough. Exactly. She's saying, she, she says personally, she wouldn't trust it. Moving back in. All right. Thanks, Cole.